You know, I figured it out why uh, Brandon, Dennis, and Marshall hates uh, Baker Mayfield so bad. And you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Brandon Marshall's a very jealous person. And if you notice, Brandon Marshall's not on TV no more. He's not even on uh, Inside uh, what, NFL on Showtime anymore. And I think he's suspended. I think uh, the network suspended him for a week or so because uh, I think they realize his hate for Baker Mayfield makes him look like a total jackass. Because if you ever notice when Brandon uh, Marshall talks about Baker Mayfield, he gets so upset and he starts yelling. You can just tell he's flustered. He hates him. And uh, I got news for you, Brandon Marshall. Baker Mayfield would beat the shit out of you. There's no doubt in my mind. Yes, you're muscular, but you can tell you're soft as a pillow. And here's why you hate Baker Mayfield. Because Baker Mayfield's rookie year, he accomplished more in the NFL in that rookie year than you ever did in your, what, 10-year career? <laughs> I mean, think about it. He came to a team that was 0-16, 1-31 his previous two years. And he had him in a playoff run the final game of the season against the Ravens. He accomplished more as rookie year than you ever did in the NFL. And you hate him for that. And he gets all this accolades and attention. And now in his third year, he's got a fucking team at 10-4 and in a playoff run. And it's driving you up a fucking wall. I mean, this guy can throw eight touchdowns. You'll play, oh, it was against this. And you're so jealous. How does it feel to be truly mind-fucked by another athlete who's accomplished more than you in his short career? <laughs> and how's it feel to be, uh, obviously, I think you're suspended because you're not on any network. I mean, uh, Showtime. And it's kind of funny. They were kind of laughing about it. And I think it's like an inside joke. They know why you're suspended. I'm assuming he's suspended because he's not on it. I mean, it's quite evident. I mean, I think the Baker hit Mayfield hate this, told the executives, this guy's a clown. I mean, you got to learn to differentiate your personal feelings with fact and fiction because you sound like a complete jackass when you said, you look good against the Giants, number 10th ranked defense in the National Football League. Five TDs against the Bengals. That Bengals defense played pretty good against Ben Roethlisberger Monday night, huh? Game-winning touchdown with, what, 16 seconds left? So, I mean, come on, guy. You just got to accept it. Baker Mayfield means more than anything that ever meant anything in your life. He means more to you than uh, your own mother and father. That's what he does. He means that much to you. And he has you mind-fucked right now. Baker does it to people. He gets people upset, and uh, he keeps on egging people on. So, Brandon Marshall. You need to accept the fact, yes, you're built, you're 6'5", but guess what? You got hands of a fucking board. And how many NFL teams are you on? Five, six, seven? Could that be because uh, nobody liked you? I mean, someone that uh, had a, what, 12-year career? I don't know how many years you were in the league, but you're on a certain bunch of, bunch of teams. And you're going to hide behind the bipolar. <laughs> I'm bipolar. I got an excuse. <laughs> well, Brandon, I got news for everybody. It's tripolar, bipolar. I'm quadpolar. Yes. I don't hide behind it. I flourish at with. I flourish with it. So Brandon, just letting you know, Baker Mayfield owns you. Uh, Thirty years from now, no one will know. No one will even remember your name. They'll remember Baker Mayfield. <laughs> so Brandon, stay mad, puppet. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding,